Hi, I'm Deacon Walter Cozy at Iron Oaks. This is the first place that TWWC called home. On March 16, 2014, on that Sunday, Pastor Ambrose spoke his first message as pastor with 34 members. So it was, it was, it was amazing to see TWWC grow and it manifested into a church. To see Pastor Ambrose grow, known him for years, started out as a, as a Sunday school teacher, to a deacon, to a minister, to now being pastor of TWWC. It's been amazing to see not only the growth in the church, but also the growth in our pastor and our first lady. So in the early days of TWWC, Iron Oaks didn't have a lot of facility, didn't have a lot of equipment. So we had to pretty much bring in all the equipment, put up chairs, uh, we had a crew, a setup crew, that would uh, come in. There was a trailer. We had a trailer that Pastor pulled around on his truck. And as soon as he pulled the truck up, we had members that volunteered that would come in. They would take off the drums, speakers, all the equipment. So our church was literally on the back of a truck, on, on the back of a trailer. And it was it was exciting just to see how we could come in and set up. We only had a limited amount of time. So we had to come in, set up, have service, break it down, and then put everything back on the trailer. It was, uh, those were some great days, great and exciting days to add. I was excited about joining TWWC as a member, not only as a member, but as a deacon to, uh, be a part of it and see the growth, to see what a church actually mean was more than just a building. It was people coming together for praise and worship. We weren't apostolic, we weren't Baptists, we weren't Metis, uh, Methodists, we were Christians. Christians who wanted to praise God, follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, and seek after the Holy Spirit. It was a powerful movement, one that I will always hold in my heart and in my spirit. Iron Oaks. <laughs> yeah, I remember those days. That's when my own personal journey started with the Word Worship Center. When people visit the Word Worship Center, they often talk about the love, the genuine atmosphere that they feel when they're there. Well, Iron Oaks is that melting pot that brought it all together. It was the very first ingredients of individuals coming from different backgrounds, deciding that we were going to be one, one family under one shepherd. It is at Iron Oaks that Pastor Ambrose began one of the most important missions of a pastor, and that is to provide a safe place and refuge. TWWC began to be a place of rescue for many of us. Rescue from sin. Rescue from hurt. Rescue from ourselves. We were small, but we were ambitious. We didn't always know what tomorrow will hold, but we knew it was coming. I was a witness to hear those first early messages of Pastor Ambrose and to see every Sunday the membership grow and grow and grow. And as the membership grew, you couldn't help but notice Pastor Ambrose's confidence grew. Seven in heaven, yeah. Seven in heaven, your word is seven. There's no debate about the word of God in heaven, amen.
man may be debated on earth, but there's no debate in heaven, amen. The word of God is forever settled. Hallelujah. How many know we're overcomers? We're overcomers. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what you're going through. It's settled in heaven that you're overcoming. Jesus said, in this world, you will have tribulation. You will have tribulation, but what? Be a good cheer. How many have some good cheer this morning? never mattered to us if we could never find a park or how far we had to walk. Never mattered who sat in the seat we sat in last Sunday or how closely we had to sit next to our neighbor. We were just happy to be there and to witness what God was doing in this place. So the church was growing fast but it created other, rely, uh, other problems, good problems. The parking lot became too small. People were parking up and down the driveway. The building, the capacity, we were overfilled, was overfilled. And every Sunday, pastor would, uh, would, would, would discuss, hey, we gotta find a place. So a search was created uh, we looked all around, and we finally found the place, and that place was Richie's. We had to go.